thank you so much for joining once again we're back nft shorts baby again this is blockchain freedom the home of nfts and crypto join the crypto for beginners team let's get it going i want you to be i want you to improve i want you to to elevate you know this is not chock full of financial advice some of it might be good information a lot of it might be entertaining i can't guarantee it's going to change your life 100 percent but if you do follow if you do subscribe if you do get the notifications kind of popping up right as things drop you might be able to catch some some pretty good x's multiplications you know percentages on a lot of this time sensitive information now this particular episode is not necessarily super time sensitive related but the subject is something that i've been getting a lot of questions on and it's really a matter of where do i buy this product and honestly it really led me to to want to take this to a little bit of a different level so we're going to talk about coin market cap in this episode for those of you who are familiar with coin market cap and you've used it you have your accounts you're probably really really up to speed on things but there still might be something some type of gem for you towards the end we'll see but definitely i appreciate everybody's support as i always say a thousand times you know stick around and why not get into it All right, so let's take a look right here. Coin market cap. So I get a lot of questions oftentimes about where can I buy this product? Where is it available? And it really, and, and you know what? Sometimes I haven't answered the question. I apologize for not being very transparent in the sense of just answering every single question that pops up. And um, I did answer a lot of questions in my last, one of my recent videos, which was um, crypto altcoin q a i believe that was the name of that one it, it came out a couple of days prior to this current one so maybe three or four videos prior to this one here so i'm going to answer that question and just a little bit more kind of all in one and I'm not, we're not going to do an ultra ultra deep dive into coinmarketcap.com however i will be delivering some good information and i'm sure that people will enjoy and it will be necessary for some now first things first if you follow my mouse i do have my mouse available so the cursor here you know, you can, you know, I prefer dark mode. I think it's a little nicer. So I do that off the bat. Now, let me just go to any token. I'm literally just going to kind of scroll down to a random token. And here we go. If I want to know where this token's available, right, to purchase, what I need to do is scroll right around here. You look for market, click market, and there you have it. You could see where it's available, source. You could see the pairs that it's available with. And of course, the price that for each exchange that has it, right? You could see the confidence. And now the confidence, let me make this clear. There may have been a misconception of confidence for myself and some others in the past. But let's just read up a little bit about what the confidence is, okay? This essentially compares reported volume of exchanges against our data models. The confidence indicator indicates the level of confidence we have that the reported volume is accurate. That's all. It's not to say that this product is or isn't trusted. It's more a matter of, are we sure that this information is correct and that there is this much volume there? Yes or no. So, you know, sometimes you might see a not available, high, of course, moderate and absolutely no. So don't, don't be mistaken if you see, oh, this thing is not trusted. That means I don't want to buy it. No, no, no. Right. You can click around and take a look at the historical data. Look at wallets that are compatible with this particular product. You know, let's get it. Let's get out of this, this, um, token because we're not really trying to look at any specific token but i just want to show you how to find stuff right and what i mean how to find stuff how to find where different products are located in terms of buying them so let's take our eyes to this little section here all right and as well up top if you log in you create an account there's a lot more you can do with this platform so i definitely urge you to do a little bit of investigating on your own simply because there's a lot more to this so Let's look at these main areas. We have price, 24 hour, seven day market cap volume, 24 hours, such and such. If we go to customize right here, we can then change it from these major terms here that we're looking for 24 hours, seven day market cap, such and such. We can go to price change. I like to use price change and I like to use other other um, 
models, I guess, as well, other metrics as well. Okay, so price change is going to give us the one hour, 24, seven day, 30, 30 day percent, and seven day, you know, watch. So you notice how this area has changed price, one hour, 24 hours, seven day, 30 day. If we go back to customize, we're going to switch this to let's go to top gainers, let's go to trader. Trader is going to give us the price in Bitcoin because, you know, Bitcoin is that essentially the number one, uh, you know, the number one token, dare I say. So let's we look at things in comparison to Bitcoin. We look at the market cap, of course, in a lot of ways in comparison to Bitcoin, the volume in comparison to Bitcoin, you know, the, the total market value and such. You know, we might include Bitcoin and may not just depending on what we're looking at, if we're looking at altcoins or we're looking at the total market. But as you see, I'll do that. I'll apply that change. And now we see price in BTC. Some people think in Bitcoin, some people think in US dollars. It's good to see this in Bitcoin just so you have some perspective for those who actually do own Bitcoin or who are who are aiming to own Bitcoin, just to give yourself some perspective as it relates to the top coin of all which is Bitcoin. Everything else essentially is some form of altcoin. Okay, let's do one more trade change here. Maybe let's go to market data. We see market cap, fully diluted cap, market cap. Let's, let's click apply and just take a look. And of course here, you can click X is all you want. So you don't even have to have these up there if you don't want to. It's beautiful, right? So let's not get stuck in the main view, which is, I believe the, the standard is classic or cu classic, if I'm not mistaken, Right. So I believe it's classic is the standard. You don't have to do this. Not to mention, if you decided to, let's say, click the seven day. Whoa. Now you're going to get a descending order from top to bottom. Which ones have had the most high, the highest percentages over the last seven days? Conversely, if we flip it, we're going to see which have had the lowest uh, amount of percentages in the upside on the upside. So there's a lot going on here. Let's go a little bit deeper. Again, thank you so much for joining. I'm so happy you're here. Again, NFT Shorts, if you like what you're hearing, seeing, if you need a little more, please let me know in the comments. But this is all about cryptocurrency, uh, crypto, and coin market cap specifically, just kind of working around it. So let's do this. Let's go to filters because this is one of my favorite tabs, one of my favorite options here. I click this all the time. Filters. Now we can go to categories and we can scroll all we want. Look at this collectible NFTs. We can just let's just do that. Now, this is everything that's collectibles and NFT related. Just simply like that. Oh, let's just check out what's doing well in the 24 hour in this specific collectibles. Right. Let's let's do that. OK, so we see Alien Worlds TLM is is 103 percent up. We see that XMON is 29 percent down, right? Let's click this filters again. All right. And let's go to let's clear the filters, clear them. Let's we can click add filter as you see right here. Right. You could choose a lot of different options here. OK, but let's go to this again and go to categories, go to platform. Sorry, platform. Now, for some of us, we're looking for Ethereum. Some of us are looking for Binance Smart Chain. Others might be looking for other networks it depends polka dot let's just say for example we're looking for things on the binance smart chain let's click that automatically this list is everything that's available on the binance smart chain it may as well be available on other networks don't get me wrong but this is exclusively binance smart chain as you see a lot of these are notable binance offerings okay now if you scroll again to the top you can just adjust by price you can adjust by the 24 hour. You can adjust by the market cap. If you're looking for some really low cap gems, click it again to get, well, some of these won't even be listed yet, but you know, you've got a low, you got low cap potential gems right here, right? Starting from there. So, and a lot of these are definitely familiar to me. So what I'm doing here, I'm just really trying to show you to answer the questions I've been getting. I received a comment just the other day. The individual didn't seem very pleased that I didn't answer his questions, his or her questions, pardon me. I don't remember the individual's name, but I, I mean, I meant nothing by it. I, I really just, you know, had to realize that this information is not necessarily uh, apparent to everybody. So here I am sharing it with you. I want you to take a look around, poke around. You can't really make a mistake, right? Unless you're signed in and you change something, but you can create a watch list if you want. 
this is one of the coolest things. I'm not currently logged in, but of course, create a watch list and get notifications when things are moving up or down. And when you get, you know what I mean? It helps you to make your your moves, your trades, your 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 swaps and stuff a little more efficiently, right? That is a beautiful thing. There's so much, I promise you, there's so much to these websites. I will dive into another one of these indexes at another time. But for today, we're definitely looking at CoinMarketCap, of course crypto portfolio tracker so you can get yourself set up with this as well there are a lot of options don't be limited don't feel limited to just the basic standard not so much basic but just the standard classic view as what what you see here i believe i'm on classic view yeah right don't get don't get stuck here and think that there's nothing more that you can do you can navigate around here look for exchanges look i'm up here looking at exchanges let's see we're gonna go to where to buy right First time buying Bitcoin, it's going to give you some ideas of where to buy, perhaps what, what, where it's based in. I mean, there, and that's predominantly Bitcoin. Now, look, we can change the, the currency to euros and such and such, but right. I don't know if you knew this. If you did know that you could do this type of stuff, please leave a comment or maybe you're fine to, to just kind of do what you do your thing. But we're going to go to exchanges and look around. Spot exchanges. What do we have here? Okay. Well, Coinbase, Kraken, a lot of these are familiar. KuCoin, of course, familiar. Tons of these are familiar. Bittrex, like we've, we've seen these. You can narrow down your search right inside of CoinMarketCap uh, just for exchanges. There's so many options here. Like I said, look at all these options. Please do click them. Don't, don't, um, don't limit yourself, essentially. Don't be afraid of exploring and... and um, don't worry about making mistakes. You There's literally no mistake to be made, again, unless you perhaps are signed in and you're doing some changes that will negatively affect what you're doing. But there are just so many options. I'm literally just kind of scrolling through some ideas to give you a better perspective of what of what exactly is going on. So uh, this is, uh, this is what is this? Uh, this is the, in full, the complete ICO calendar, the full initial coin offering calendar listed in date order. So a lot of these I've definitely seen. I've seen auction. I've seen a bunch of these products. Yes, yes. Finminity. I'm just, I had a video on that just not too long ago. Um, let's go to, let's go. There's one other thing, one other thing, pardon me, that I wanted to show you. Let's see. Let's go. So we'll go to categories. Okay, click categories. Watch the categories. I'm going to go to the bottom just because, you know, we, we started the letter A all the time and number one, zero all the time. Let's start at the end. So retail, there's so much. Look at this, jobs, logistics. I mean, fan tokens, uh, memes. Of course, if I click on memes, the number one is probably going to be Dogecoin. Let's just take a look. I would kind of assume, well, yeah, the, the number one is going to be Dogecoin, right? So again, don't feel limited by the classic view. Dive in. There's the Binance Launchpad music. Let's check out music. I would imagine Audius is number one. Of course, right? You know, you look at these things and if, if you're not familiar with it, with these some of these names I'm tossing out and why would I know that these are number ones? It's well, because I'm, I'm always watching the markets. I'm always looking for hidden gems for you, sleeping giants, to lay them, you know, to, to, to deliver them and essentially, you know, help people out and help myself as well, of course. But you can learn if you're looking to find some hidden gems you might want to try to find hidden gems in certain sectors certain certain areas that you find that the average human being right now is using right now on the dot com and just you know the plain old internet you might want to you know let's say insurance like i definitely have some insurance going on yeah for sure these are some insurance you know i've definitely maybe i haven't talked about helmet and insurance and other insurance but look this is all insurance right armors of course armors there squirrel yep finance is there of course right all this stuff is available for you they're just solana ecosystem you want to just check what's on the solana ecosystem take a look of course chain link and such and such are around terra luna's all you know here and there kin i've definitely heard a lot about kin uh, i think potentially this has this has apparently some great potential I, I haven't done a lot of research on it myself but i've heard quite a bit about kin right now um Look, just look, like I said, take your time, look through these lists and find the hidden gems for yourself. I can reassure you, like VRAR, I'm just doing, I'm going into one more. Look, there's only a few available here. There could in fact be more, but they may or may not be listed on coin market cap specifically. They might be on uh, perhaps DAP Radar or CoinGecko, which we'll definitely talk about another time. Look at this, automated market makers. Let's see. We've got, of course, Uniswap to the top, PancakeSwap, SushiSwap, as, as we kind of expected. Oh, did you realize the Bancor will be up there? 
uh, one inches up there. You know, I mean, th I, I don't want to go into every single angle, but I think you get the point. You know, I hope that this has given you some type of um, freedom in a sense or has liberated you to some degree and given you some some avenues gaming i'm going to touch one more you know i'm all into gaming so look at the gaming of course engine's going to be number one what else would you expect right it's it's and then alice is in there and you know it's it's essentially to be expected hospitality there's a video i mean we can see theta what are we going to see in there i mean of course right it's <laughs> i think we're going overboard on this but i just you know tourism like there you can narrow down and, and if you're into tourism you're into marketing or you want to find things that are interoperable or if you want to find more stable coins you want to find more entertainment you, like you can narrow it down specifically specifically to what best suits your needs so i definitely hope that this has helped you on your journey to better understanding coin market cap but also better understanding how to strengthen your trades how to locate hidden gems and how to kind of l lower the time it takes to find what you're looking for right thank you so much again nft shorts be back with us we'll be for sure dropping some more information for the people again this was mainly based on a comment a question that i received from an individual and i really felt i felt like i didn't do my community uh, good service in the sense of answering questions. I honestly truly didn't mean to disregard people's questions. I really thought that people would have known if I said it was available on Binance Chain as well. Let me just do one more quick thing. Let me scroll down to a random token. I'm going to go to a different page just so we don't do anything to bias on any of these. I'll go to page 47. Why not? Okay. And then we're going to click on this one. Why not? Right. If you want the address, of course, the contract address is literally right here. You can copy it. You could click this to see the explorers sometimes if it's available on finance smart chain or maybe tron or perhaps it's available on ethereum so it's going to be either eth scan or bsc scan and if you want to check the chat group you know this is going to launch their telegram group for example maybe this coin is not necessarily the best option i'll tell you why because i don't necessarily have all the options i want to show you here we go so source code there's information there sometimes you get information on the white paper even community oftentimes this will lead you to twitter yep it's usually the three sometimes there's a discord link in there stuff like that nature and again sometimes if if there's an op an item let's just say that's available a token that's available on multiple blockchains let me see give me a second here i'm gonna go back to page one and see if i could find something that comes to mind let's say okay let's just say uniswap sure right so maybe in explorer sometimes you'll find it i'm afraid i'm going to click this it's going to lead us to one page there you go ether scan eth floor bsc scan so it's just showing you that it's he, he, uh, h he net he coin info he sorry yeah he coin info he, he co i can't even say the word out oh my gosh uh he co info <laughs> right there's just so much out there right just search around don't be afraid even some look at this more what is this going to lead to that's the binance smart chain address look at this all these different polygon like you can literally copy the address right from here and of course the main one is often if not always if there are multiple it's going to default in most cases to ethereum right so you might have to click more or you might have to learn about, you know, getting the address and finding it somewhere else, learning about the, the symbol or the ticker and, you know, locating it by yourself. But you can definitely do this. Just click around the website. Oftentimes there are two or three websites. Depends on if, if it's, you know, yeah, like I'm saying, I don't want to overdo it. And I do think I've I think I've um, essentially said enough for now. You can go by ranking spotlight. I mean, there are so many options here. So, again, guys and ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much again. Don't feel limited by just the simple classic view. Go ahead and dive into these indexes and search around, learn a little bit more, uh, free yourself and, and view things, these tokens, the way you want to view them. All right. Absolutely. Much respect. Thank you so much. And of course, until next time, uh, you know, take it easy.